guys, welcome back to TubeBuddy for another action-packed video. Well, maybe not action-packed, but welcome back anyway. Uh, today's video is all about the motorcycle fork spring compression tool which we're about to make. With a bit of a twist, we're going to add a linear controller to motorize it. Uh, I've gone ahead and done some pre-cuts. As you can see, some square tube and some flat bar. Right, so we'll start with the base. We've got the larger square tubing with a smaller offcut that's cut at 45 degrees, which will get welded to the bottom. Some flat bar for some mounting points. We're going to go ahead and do that, and uh, we'll be back in a sec. So the base is all welded together. As you can see, the uprights are all in place. I've added an 8mm bolt to locate the fork, along with a support for that fork in the way of a piece of flat bar just slightly curved with a gap behind us to allow us to put a Velcro strap to help secure that fork to the base. With that uh, all done, we're going to now move over to the upright. For our upright, we're going to take our smaller piece of square tubing, slot that into the top of the base. We then take a piece of flat bar which we're going to shape in a sec. Once that's done we roll that to the top. Now as for the shaping of the flat bar, as that's going to be welded to the top with a 90 degree bend in it uh, where we're going to mount our pins, we're going to give this a bit of a kick out and then back again giving us a bit more clearance as the top tubing is thinner than the base so we want to make sure that clearance between the fork and the sliders is uh, sufficient. Now that we've beaten our flat bar into shape, we're going to go ahead and weld that to the top part of our box section. You can see the nice offset that we've given it, that's going to give us some nice clearance. Alright, let's weld that together and uh, yeah, we'll move over to maybe making some of the pins for the uh, spring section. But yeah, let's do some welding. <laughs> welded to the top tube I've also added two 8mm connector nuts a shorter one to the outside and a longer one to the inside now it's time to make some pins for the pins unfortunately I don't have access to a lathe at the moment so I've cheekily stuck these into a drawer put that into the vise and then taken an angle grinder and cut some grooves into them now you can see it's done quite a good job but uh, it's not exactly how I want to do this so I will get them made correctly a bit later but for now I think that's going to suffice To mount the motor, I've decided to use 5mm flat bar, which I've drilled and tapped some thread. We're going to weld that to the square tubing, longer one to the bottom, shorter one to the top. Once that's done, we're going to head over to the powder coating, give it some color, put this together and give it a test. Right, so we're back from the powder coaters. We've gone for a nice black and red to make this really stand out. I've also mounted the motor in the meantime, plus the electrics. We have a forward and reverse momentary switch connected. We're going to connect that to a 4 volt transformer to power this up. But in future uh, uses, we're going to connect this to a black and red crocodile clip so we can connect it to a 12 volt motorcycle battery. There you go guys, that's the uh, tool working in uh, full operation there, it's uh, done its job quite well. 
So lowered the spring down far enough for us to get the spanner in to loosen that uh, and take the fork apart. Uh, so that's been a uh, success as far as I'm concerned. Uh, yeah, well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time.